Here's problem number five from section 6.1. It says two cities have nearly the same longitude of 99 degrees west. The latitude of the first city is 29, point, or 29 degrees 2 minutes, and the latitude of the second city is 39 degrees 46 minutes. Approximate, approximate the distance between the cities if the average radius of the Earth is 3,955. So the radius, 3,955. Now we had to think about this with the whole latitude and longitude thing. Now it says the, the same longitude of 99 degrees west. So what that means is if we have the Earth and we're 99 degrees west, so that's talking like left and right. So let's just call this spot on our planet 99 degrees west. Both of our cities lie on this line. But uh, one of them lies like right here and the other of them lies like up here. And we wanna find that distance between the two. So, I assume you guys think the world is round. Uh, I know there are some people that think it's flat, um, but if you think it's flat, this problem's not for you. Uh, this is a problem where we're going to look at the distance between the cities around Earth, meaning we're gonna to need to use the arc length formula. So the first way to start though is to take our first city's first city uh, latitude and convert it. So let's go with 29 degrees 2 minutes equals 29 degrees and you can convert minutes into some decimal number because we know there's 60 minutes in an hour. So we can say that 29 degrees plus two minutes over 60 minutes equals, and I can plug that in the calculator, 29 plus two divided by 60 is 29.03333. Now again, we're just converting the two minutes into, the two minutes into some degree. So how do you convert the minutes and degrees? You divide it by 60. 60 minutes in an hour. Second city, latitude. Well, that's gonna be 34 degrees, 46 minutes. So we're gonna do 34 degrees plus 46 minutes over 60 minutes. And again, we're gonna plug that in. So we're gonna do 34 plus 46 divided by 60. That's 34.76666. Now, we, we know that these are like our angles, right? These are the angles. So we wanna actually get the angle that's between them so we can use S equals R theta to find the arc length. Well, theta is gonna equal 34.76666 minus 29.0333, so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So we're gonna, you'll notice I'll use the second answer button. So second answer, and we're gonna subtract the 29.033333. And we get 5.733. So our angle is 5.73333. So now we can use that in the problem. So we can say S equals our 3,955 miles for the radius times 5.733333 degrees. And that tells us that So times 3955, 22,675 point. Oh, you know what I forgot? Remember the arc length formula. This has to be radians. So we have degrees. 
And 22,000, I started to write it. I'm like, heck, that's not right. That can't be right. 22,000 miles. Whoa. I mean, the radius is 3,955, 22,000. That's a lot going around the earth. And they're not that big of an angle. Well, the problem is I use, I'm using a degree and not using radians. This is where you can get yourself in trouble. How do we convert from radians to degrees? Well, or sorry, from degrees to radians. We can take uh, this and multiply by pi over 180. Because remember, pi radians takes you to 180. That's a ratio you're going to use all the time. So if you're going from degrees to radians, you're going to use pi over 180. If you're going from radians to degrees, you'll flip this and use 180 over pi. So now that we have that, I better take this number times. Oop, and I'm kind of off the screen there. This number times pi divided by 180. That makes more sense. That tells us instead of this number, I actually have 395.76 miles. Now it says round to the nearest integer, so that would be what, 396? 396 miles. So find the distance, convert our angles, find the distance between them, the angle between them, use S equals R theta, making sure you switch it to radians, and there you have it.